So today in the JavaScript interview question series, we're going to be looking at the map method and the parseInt method. So we've got a little bit of starter code here. If you want to get your own copy of this, the link to it is in the description down below. And the question is, when we're taking this array with strings that contain only numbers, and we call the map method on this array, and we pass the result to parseInt, so we're running a function, that's what the map method does. It takes a function or you can nest your own custom function or you can have a pre-built function that you put inside of here take an array call map give it a function and then it gives back a brand new array with the result of whatever the map function is so we're trying to take these three th strings and turn them into numbers but the result that we're getting is this and you can see down here I ran it and this is exactly what we're getting back one not a number and three so why is that and how do you fix it that's today's question. So I'll pause here for a moment, let you experiment, see if you can figure it out, and then we'll take up the solution. Okay, welcome back. So how do we do this? With this array, why are we getting this bizarre result? It seems to be working for the first one, but then it starts failing. And the reason comes down to what's going on with map and parse int. Parse int, this function, is going to take in a value. So what is the number that you want to convert from a string into an integer? What do you want to parse out of it? And the second thing is this optional parameter called the radix, which defaults to 10. So the default radix is going to be 10. That's base 10. OK, great. So it's expecting two possible parameters, but we're only passing one value in, aren't we? And that's the other part of this. The map method on an array actually gives you three things. Now, you don't have to use all three of them. When I'm writing map, I'm often just writing it as, you know, my array, whatever it is, I call map. And then I'm building my own custom function. And inside of here, let's put this back to a single line so it stays in the comments. I'll be passing in most of the time just one value. So what is the value from the array? But there is also the index and the array. There's these three things that are all being passed in by the map method. It's sending three things, whether we use them or not. I don't have to put these variables here. I can call it just like that, which is what I often do. However, it will be passing in the three. Now what's happening, you can see is this index is being passed in as the radix. So it's setting the base. And that means our first time through with the map, the first time it's going to be passing in the string 1, and the index is 0, and then the array gets ignored. Second time through, it's going to be passing in the string 7, and a radix of 1. Third time, it's going to be passing in the string 1, 1, and the radix of 2. So basically, this will use the default because it looks at zero and says that's not a valid value for a base or a radix. So it's going to jump to the default 10 as the radix. Here, it's going to accept one's going to be OK as the radix, but the number 7 is an illegal value. There is no 7 when one is the base. When one's the base, the only valid number you could ever put in is zero. So this isn't going to work. So seven is illegal, which means not a number. And that's why we get that not a number. And then for the third one, radix is two, which is binary as the radix. And then one, one, if you look at it as a byte, It's this. Here's the, the byte. This is the two bits, which in decimal is the number three. And that's why we get that result. So one in a base 10 returns one. Seven in base one gives you not a number. And then 11 in binary gives you the three. So the way that we solve this if we did this again, 
what we should be doing is simply taking the value, the number, whatever it is, item, whatever you want to call it, it's just a variable name. And then inside of here, we pass it over like that. This is the solution. You actually call it inside of the function that you're building for map. So you're only passing in this, you're not passing in anything, so the default base 10 is going to be used. And that's the solution. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.